So we have gotten back home. Um, I opened up Pokemon Go Hub and I was looking at some of the stuff there and I thought that that was pretty interesting. So before I get into the other stuff, we're going to get into this. Because um, some of the new stuff that was added in there was, um, let's see, there was new battle attacks or sounds for battle attacks that were added in. So that was pretty cool. Um, there's like a whole list of the way that it sounds and it sounds more like the main series games and you can give that stuff a listen um, and see how it stacks up and compares but then it also means that new moves are getting added there is um, two other new icons one is the battle icon and then the other one is the protect shield icon uh, I don't know how they're going to go in just yet but then there was also um, some uh, what is it some artwork artwork for the dream the gym uh, leaders or the gym bosses or whatever the three of them so then there's artwork and icons for those and those are the ones that are going to come up right here so yeah that stuff was all pretty cool there's links down in the description to the go hub article and uh, we're just going to jump straight into the video from the beginning of the day this is already the end of the day we're already home um, about to eat and all that but, um, you know, we had a good day. We went out and raided and did all that stuff. So we're going to jump into that right now. Okay, so it's Sunday. Uh, we just got the call from Ricardo saying that he's going to go and play in Old Town. So we've already got the kids ready and we're going to be heading outside. Probably can't see too much of that because of the blinds. But we're going to go outside, get in the car, and we're going to go out and play today. Finally, for the first time in forever. Uh, we might actually just be in the car for most of the time because... It's already going to get cold. It's only like 2.30 right now, but the sun's about to go down. And, uh, yeah. So let's go and see all uh, all the animals that we can catch for the day. Okay, so I started to open up my uh, research mm -hmm. thing, and I forgot to hit record. So we're going to start doing that right now. It is a Articuno at 12.89. I don't remember what the perfect CP for that one is. Uh tell you the truth I don't even think I knew what it was to begin with but uh, missed the accuracy on that one because it flew up but we still hit it um, it might stay in on the first no the very first one that we had gotten was the the what was it the Moltres for the research thing that was the first one that I had gotten and I remember it was it was almost impossible to get it took like 20 30 balls to hit it I ran through almost all of my balls and uh, just barely even got it. So I'm gonna try getting this one. Uh, here we no, not silver, uh, golden. Yeah, because I kind of want to save those uh, silver pinout berries. And here we go. Ah, I should have waited for the dodge. Um, there we go. Great throw. So we hit it right there. Uh, Ricardo just drove by right now. We're about to head over to uh, to the beach because there's nothing happening right here. Well, there's stuff happening, but not just yet. So let's see. Ah, uh, threw it way too high. So we got that guy, and we're going to be heading to the beach because there's a couple of gyms over there, and we could get into some of those. Hopefully they'll have raids. The only raid that's going on here is a pink egg level 1 or 2, but that's not going to happen for another uh, more than 30 minutes. And this guy will just not stay in the ball. So I'm going to do this again, Golden Raspberry. I've already got my Ultra Ball. Um, if I could just get a good accuracy on it. All right, excellent throw on that one. So hopefully this time it'll stay in. If he doesn't, that's going to be really disappointing because I almost never get excellence. And we got him. Perfect. So we got that guy with the excellent throw, Golden Raspberry combo, uh, 1289. Check this guy out. Amazing HP, defense, excellent stats. So that's all right. I'll hold on to it anyway because I don't have very many good ice types. And we'll hit these stops and then be on our way. <laughs> all right, so we've gotten here. It is really bright. Actually, I should probably be standing like this, but then I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, either way, I'm blinded by the sun. We got here and uh, Ricardo was over here trying to hook up Rebecca's thing so that way they could get the special box. And then I will also be doing the same thing. And we're still looking around trying to find a raid. We still haven't gone to the beach yet, but we're going to go and check that out. And uh, probably be back for this other raid. Uh, I'm going to have to be doing some on my, my low-level blue account and then some on my red account. I could get 
up to three raids on my red account because I have, you know, the free pass, then the free pass for today, and then one premium. And then on my other account, I have just the one free pass and then a second re free pass. So I'm going to make a total of five. So we're just going to see all what we can do right now while it's still daylight because once the sun goes down, it is going to get really, really cold out here. Um, so yeah, we'll be around in the car for most of the day. So we'll just see all what stuff we can get recorded and done and it feels like the wind is also picking up. So I'm gonna bail out right now. All right, so we got the thing connected and we're gonna enter into this. And then right there, up in the top right corner, there's a little symbol for the Nintendo Switch. And he says that we can transfer any Pokemon. So I guess we'll do Weedle. How do I transfer it? Let me just go here. No. Let me see, go out. Oh, you have to... There's only Pokemon you can transfer. Oh, okay. So you have to hit the Nintendo Switch symbol in the top corner. Then you hit your Pokemon that you want to. And then it says send. When you connect to Pokemon Go with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, certain limited data will be shared with Nintendo in the course to transfer the Pokemon. Please see blah 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 da 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 da. Yes. While connecting to your Nintendo Switch, do not turn off smartphone or enter sleep mode. Okay. And now it's got the little symbol on there, which looks pretty cool. And then on the other side, it's showing some stuff. There you go. All right. And it's sent. On uh, Ricardo's, I can't read it because it's in Spanish. <laughs> but all right. On this end, it says Pokemon sent, and it's got that cool little symbol. Check it out, Rebecca. It's a little picture of a Pikachu, even though I sent a Weedle. And then now we've got bonus yeah, 100 yeah. XP mystery box now box. available. Open the mystery box in the bag for a mysterious effect. Cool. So, uh, go in here, check this. And the mystery box open. Did a melt up. Let's see, it's okay, opening like slowly. Mist comes out, which looks really minutes. awesome. He did like, yeah. He did like oh. 10, maybe now get 11, 12. We have 30 minutes for something. What is the 30 minutes? For melting. Melting, melt. 30 minutes to catch as many melting as possible. So I'm going to try and X out of this thing. How do I disconnect it? So this is the first one, the Melton 399. These are supposed to be actual Meltons and not just dittos. So we are going to catch this very first one, uh, Misty Accuracy on there. Hopefully they stay in with 100% accurate or 100% rate, which would be cool. But 30 minutes of just catching Melton, and we're also trying to do raids. Rebecca is trying to connect to hers on there. All right, new Pokemon registered right there. I probably should have had a Lucky Egg going, but you know, no raids right now. And we're going to check this guy out. Uh, not great in battle, of course. And we need 400 candies to get an evolution on this guy. So, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled because they are everywhere. No, not everywhere, but they are supposed to be everywhere for 30 minutes. Uh, might as well catch this Torchwig while I'm at it. Because Torchwig didn't get very many of those. So, we've got that guy. Hit him with the ball. I should have thrown some kind of berry at him, but, you know... Oh, and he ran away too. That would happen. I had a feeling that was going to happen. But we also got the bay leaf right there, and that's out of curiosity. No, Melton doesn't appear on the nearby list, I guess because that's supposed to be a special thing. So we'll hit this Pokestop, and hopefully more of them will appear at some point. I don't know how much I have to actually move around, but we're going to see all what we can get. We're here. Uh, the gym is actually this way over here at the Explorer Center, the Science Center. So we're going to battle this guy down. It is a mall wall, so we'll be able to take it down pretty quickly. But I need to get back in before the lobby starts. And here we go. Battling down this big, <laughs> scary mall wall. Um, I don't know how... Oh, I guess this is super effective on it. I was just planning on using fire. I don't know why, because this thing isn't even a grass type. But, you know, this stuff is working. We are cutting through it pretty quickly and it is freezing cold out here this is like when we were trying to battle the uh, Kyogre raid when Kyogre first came out and we were on the side of the freeway freezing trying to catch it and then the cars were driving by and blowing wind at us but we shrunk it down 
and it's coming to uh, look like 906 for the CP on there. Uh, friendship level with me and Rebecca and uh, Ricardo. We got rare candies, two super potions, 750 stardust, XP, and come on. Speed it up. If only there was a way to go through this a little faster for whenever it's freezing cold like this. So 16 balls on that one, and we are going to make this guy pretty fast. So we'll throw a golden raspberry at it and hope for an excellent throw. This is just like when I was trying to catch that Kyogre because my hands, oh, they're not <laughs> registering to the thing. I try and spin and throw, and then it just keeps it far back. All right. Uh, all right, Misty Accuracy hit him that time for once. Now I'm going to have to start carrying hand warmers because I think my <laughs> hands just get too hard and dry whenever I try and do this. All right, so we got him right there. Uh, we'll do an IV check on that guy later because if I'm right, no, no. I was expecting to see a Melton right there, but it looks like it's not time for it just yet. Still got 11 and a half minutes to do this. Okay, so I've got another Melton that just came up as we pulled up to the statue. Rebecca's making a joke about battling the gym down because Ricardo can get in it. And <laughs> she wants to like let him get in and then kick him right out. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we've got a Melton right here, 586, Ultra Ball Pinup Berry, which is basically the combo that I'm going to be going for the entire time um, because I need as many of these candies as I can possibly get seeing as it's a 400 uh, evolution. So we've got another one, and let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, this dude is standing really close to the screen. So we are hoping that he will stay in on this one. Come on. All right, cool. He stayed in, so I will give that guy a look over after, but I am gonna get an exterior shot right here in front of the statue, because the statue's pretty cool. All right, and here we go on another stroke of luck right here a slugma Ricardo, appeared too. which i've been needing um actually i should probably just try and make sure that i get this guy 100 percent um because it is a slugma that should be the last one that i need for the melton thing so come on nah, you don't need to do that no more. <laughs> and he dodged he's doing he's trying to get here we go great throw on him so we got that thing. and hopefully he'll stay in back. because i want to hurry up and get this exterior shot because the sun is at the right spot to it's where it's not going to blind me for once. I didn't so yeah, there we go. Thing. Five of those. And so let's I'm see, never close gonna get that. Uh, Unless uh, they bring them back one. to raids. Here we go. All right, claim the reward. Got 5,000 Stardust. Five lures, which I haven't had lures in forever. 20 Great Balls. And then now he's going to say a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, don't have time to read all of this. But there we go, battle in 10 raids, 5 execute, and evolve a Magnemite. So, we're about to do one of those raids right now. Well, in 4 minutes. Alright, here we go. This is the statue right here. It's a pretty cool statue right there. And then um, on the other side is the cultural center. There's a lot of cool stuff there. We, uh, we may go and drop in there one day and like check some stuff out and see if we can record anything or not. Um, I don't know what the rules are about that, but anyway, statue is a gym. There's another statue on the other side that's a gym, and then uh, another statue on the edge of the opposite parking lot that we're at, and then that is also a gym because there is this big, um, I forget what it's called, like the Winter Solstice statue, something like that. Uh, I can't remember it off of the top of my head, but it is pretty cool. It's like a swirly, swirly thing, I guess it's supposed to represent the wind or something like that. But... Um, all this stuff is pretty cool, and we are about to jump into this raid right now. And here we go. We're jumping into the raid right now. It is a Sableye raid. Um, there is actually about five players. I just decided to add in a Gengar just for the fun of it. But it's me, Rebecca, Ricardo, and two other players that were already in here. Why is this thing not doing anything? Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, just throw on a Gengar there for the fun of it. Um, because Gengar is always cool and one of my favorite Pokemon and this guy is going down he's already almost out and purple confetti should be coming up right there still got plenty of time and what is look like 810 for the CP uh, one golden raspberry three super potions one rare candy 
750 on Stardust and XP and I still have not set off a lucky egg because I just keep forgetting. Looks like Valley took team contribution, 13 balls and there we go. Got him right there. Yeah, 810 for the CP. Uh, throw a pinat berry even though I probably should have used something else. Should be saving those pinat berries for the Meltons. Which hopefully there will be a Melton as soon as I get out of this guy. Uh, my hands are still cold and dry. So it's hard for me to throw. I probably wouldn't have got an accuracy throw even if my hands weren't all cold and dry. But it's not very fun doing this like this anyway. Need to get some gloves. Alright, do your flip. And... And he would jump. It's a feisty one. Feisty. Alright, nice throw. Not what I was looking for, but good enough. A little bit better than not getting anything at all. So, three shakes, and there we go. Wasn't shiny, but, you know, a Pokemon is a Pokemon, and you get a load of XP for that. So, let's back out of this, and is there a Melton? This dude is so small, it's hard to see. No, doesn't look like there is, but he should be spawning up sooner or later. Alright, so the Melton box has expired now. Um, there are no more Meltons for me to catch, but I did catch several of them and I used a pinout berry on just about all of them. So that is awesome because that gives me bonus candies for it. Just about double for all of the Meltons because I did catch all of them. So that's awesome. Um, but we still do have some raids to do. I think I have one more raid pass. I might buy some more. I might buy a box. I don't know. I just got paid yesterday and we basically didn't do anything. So we haven't spent any money. So... Um, raid boxes should be getting those. I need to find one that has uh, raid passes, which will be cool. So, you know, try and catch and uh, do some raids and see what all I can get. All right, here we are at uh, the beach, which we're trying to get to. There's that big fish ball statue thing over there. There's some stuff over here like barbecue pits and the water is actually back that way. Um, it's not really a beach so much as uh, a little lake or something and then there's ducks and stuff uh, Dogs and cool stuff like that some people fishing But anyway, I need to hurry up and get back in this because the timer's already running Ah, I think they might have already gotten in uh, Countdown, ah They're just gonna have me battle this one by myself. I guess it took too long um, So yeah I'm just going to have to battle this guy down by myself. Alright, I forgot to record the battle. I'm actually eating almonds right now. But, um, there we go. 568 for the Shop It. Um, we'll throw a pinout berry at it for some reason. And completely missed that one. <laughs> Way down that dodge. And there we go. Great throw. If I'm lucky, this one will stay in one ball. Rebecca's actually fought her down to the very last ball. So she had one ball left. I got it in one ball. So we got that one. Uh, let me check it out because I'm running low on space. Amazing attack blown away. I'll hold on to that one. And I think that leaves me with three mm -hmm. Pocus spaces left. So we'll see what else we can get in on. All right, so we are going to do the first of the new legendary. This is our first, no, second time, I think, battling it. Um, we're gonna try and get in on this. We're gonna head over there right now. It's gonna hatch in about 13 minutes So we'll have we should be able to have a group because there was already seven people battling the Sableye that we just did so we're gonna get in on that and um, It shouldn't be all that hard, but we'll see what happens. Oh What it just kicked me out No, get in. I know it just kicked me out right now right as I started uh, to record you rejoin the same oh, what is this? Uh, How did that even happen? That's bullshit. What do you want me to drop out? I'm gonna try it again. They kicked him out. I'm thinking we should drop out and then those people have to redo it anyways. Right, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> Hopefully this thing doesn't kick me out for no reason. Yeah. Like, you guys saw that. As soon as the timer hit zero, it just completely booted me out. So, I don't know what that was all about. But we've got 40 seconds, and then hopefully I will be able to get into this again. Start getting through this. I keep seeing this weird black thing underneath the Pokemon. 
Uh, I see it's black attack. and then it's red eyes. It's from the dark attack. Well, Rebecca's saying that it's dark attack, but I don't ever remember seeing that. Anyways, that we are battling shit? this guy down pretty quickly. Um, even though I completely spaced out and didn't pick any of my Pokemon, I have all ground and fire types, which, you know, it doesn't do very much damage on this. It does just like regular damage, I guess, but we are tearing straight through it either way with seven players, all fairly good level. And down it goes. Oh, no, if I my think thing would stop lagging out. Attack where you see the little thing like fighting. Oh, Rebecca's saying that it's something, it's a dark attack where the monster starts biting or something. Did you see a biting thing in the air? Got three golden raspberries, 12 hyper potions, six rare candies, 750 stardust, and 10,000 XP. 14. Without a lucky egg again. <laughs> I got 11 Jim balls. Was yellow, and you had and more yellow people. Come on, here we go. Uh, CP 1572. 1608. I don't remember what a good oh, CP on that one would be. Uh, golden Raspberry and... Well, I know mine's uh, much higher than yours. On. Oh, Rebecca's must be really good and mine must just be... 1608. You know, 1608 on hers. So mine must just be, you know, probably on the lower end. On the lower, lower end. But either way... A Pokemon is a Pokemon, so let's try and catch this guy. If he would stop dodging and get back into the middle of the... Come on. There we go. And should I wait for a dodge? There it goes. Perfect. Uh, I was hoping for an excellent on that one, but uh, threw it just a second too late. Alright, so we jumped out, and let's see if I can get this to go a little bit faster. Uh, great throw on that one and stay in stay in we get one shake two shake and, uh, he jumped out right there on the third one right when I thought so I had him doing. so another raspberry Mine and, too. Uh, excellent throw got it that looked more like a great throw but the ring is so big that I registered as an excellent throw and he's jumped out either way this guy is just not having it throw that one, one again shake that time. Um, can I get a master ball or something <laughs> excellent throw again oh, stay in that excellent throw curve ball golden raspberry and that's what did it right there so all of that put together and we caught it so well, excellent throw <laughs> let's just check this in on here strong Pokemon uh, there's another one off in the distance somewhere uh, oh, right there. The blue portal, 18 minutes. If Rebecca can catch hers, it's going to be awesome. But we're going to see if maybe the mine second one will be good, if we can do it. And there we go. Just like I was saying, um, we're back home already, so it's time to get the kids showered up. We're about to eat, get everything all taken care of. For tomorrow, I have to go to work. So, um, you know, another day, another busy day doing stuff. At any rate, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and stick around for the next video because i uh, probably be doing something tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. just depends on timing. So stick around.